Hi, I'm Norm Stockton, solo artist and bassist with Lincoln Brewster, and I'm here at Sweetwater Sound. Uh, we're doing a clinic tonight and really excited about it. But I wanted to just talk to you just for a little bit about uh, Galleon Kruger. And um, I've been a huge fan for about the last four years since I discovered them. Um, obviously, they've been around a lot longer than that. It took me a little while to get up to speed. But um, long story short, uh, I played a bunch of different amps over the years. And about four years ago at the NAMM show in, uh, in Nashville, actually the summer NAMM show, um, the artist rep, rep came over to me and uh, said, hey, you really should check out the new Neo stuff. And I remember thinking, huh, OK, well, maybe I'll, I'll go check it out. And um, went to their booth. And they had all you know, the whole setup where you plug into the one input and you've got uh, so they could push different buttons and route the signal to different combinations of cabs and, and heads. And after a few minutes, um, or actually not no, more like 20 seconds or so, all of a sudden it was like, uh, Hey, wait, wait, stop, you know, go back. Yeah, what am I playing through right now? And the guy said, a 1001 RB head with a Neo 212 cabinet and a Neo 115 cabinet. I was absolutely floored. It was the most um, clean, punchy, full sound, um, just tons of headroom, uh, amazing tone. Tonally, I think this is a really just amazingly versatile head and uh, or cabinet as well. But um, in terms of the controls and and how I set them for most of the stuff that I do, especially more of the solo oriented stuff, it's a, it's a slightly different sonic animal when I'm playing with Lincoln because it's a little bit more about the rock thing and more growl. But uh, for most of the stuff, um, I run the contour up just a little bit, gives a little bit of a scoop in the uh, in the EQ. Um, the presence is sort of that super high, um, sort of pristine especially for the slap stuff or the tap stuff, pristine highs. I run that depending on how fresh the strings are, maybe at about 1 o'clock or so. Treble, I usually run just about flat um, or about halfway up, 12 o'clock. High mids, I roll off to somewhere around 9 o'clock or so, especially for the slap stuff. Um, low mids are about uh, 12 o'clock, and bass is just bumped slightly ahead of that. Um, the boost on this head, as I understand it, and by the way, I'm not really a tech guy. Uh, this mostly was trial and error and being explained to me by uh, GK. But um, boost, as I understand it, with this head in the setting that I usually use, is uh, primarily like a volume control as well, like an additional volume control. So I tend to run it at about 1 o'clock or so. Tweeter is about 1 o'clock as well, and the woofer is at about 3 o'clock. Um, and I run all of these switches uh, out. So it's bi-amp mode. And sounds amazing. So if you get a chance, definitely contact Sweetwater's sales engineers, and they would love to give you way more of the tech scoop on these than I can. And they can, they'll give you a great price. Obviously, obviously Sweetwater is an amazing uh, shop. So um, let me just play you something real quick um, in closing that will just sort of demonstrate the, the qualities of the amp. And um, there's a tune of mine from my Pondering the Sushi CD called um, Blessed. And I, uh, it has a bunch of different techniques that I use, so it sort of allows you to get an idea tonally of what the GK stuff's all about. So I hope you enjoy this. <laughs> 